Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. I am here to do a whole bunch of taming, but before I get started, I just spotted this 150 Pteranodon. I wasn't going to start the video just yet, I was going to get to my location first, but as we all should probably know by now, if you get access to a high level Tyrant, it's pretty much guaranteed to get some really incredible loot, and I'm so scared of the Alpha right now next to it, oh god. So I want to quickly get this down uh, before we start the video. But yes, hello, welcome! It is time for lots and lots of epic taming. I'm going to be taming some awesome things today. A couple of things that we've been kind of lingering about as the playthrough has been going on. And that... <gasps> that was worth it! Oh, that was so worth the unexpected start to the video. Ascendant Argentavis Saddle. Yes! So, like I said, I'm not sure if it's ever been captured on video, but it's definitely been captured on live streams. That uh, killing really high level tyrants, legendaries, etc. They yield the best kind of loot. It's got to be a high level one. So on the island, that's not very likely because everything's low level. Hence why I wanted to try and start the video there. Ascendant Argentavis Saddle. That's only slightly better than my current one, but I'm not going to complain. In addition to two Manta Saddles, sweet. So let us continue forth with the taming. Now then, for my very first target of the day, I have a 145 Quetzal. Well, it despawned. Um, and so did the 150. If you remember, very early on, we had a 150 spawn all the way in the other side of the Arctic that's also despawned, and the 145 just despawned. Oh, that's disappointing. Okay, let's see if I'm more lucky this time. This is a Spinosaurus I found back when I was still flying with a Pteranodon, so really, really early in this playthrough. Back when I was, you know, gliding around trying to get beaver dams and what little I could muster. And I found this Spinosaurus, which so far implies that it's still there. Really hoping that text is going to remain there, it's not going to despawn in my face like the Quetzal just did. Ooh, I think... Do you, do you feel the suspense? Do you feel the growing concern? It moved! It's there! Yes! And it's got a high... Uh, it's fully healed still. Oh, but it's next to Capros. Of course you're next to Capros. Okay. Well, thankfully, I am prepared for the... No, I'm not prepared. I've only got two gates. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, well, that's problematic. Okay, you know what, guys? You know what? I'm ready. I'm prepared. In fact, even against the wall, I am extra prepared. I'm going to tank it. You see, mate. We're going to get this. It's going to be fine. So, <laughs> massive copium right now. Go ahead. Get the behemoth. Do this. It's technically now trapped anyway, but I'm also just going to use, by the power of structures plus and lack of gravity, I'm just going to snap all of these in the air. And is the spino, like, in the wall? In the gate even, is it stuck? I think I might have gotten it stuck, which is really not ideal actually, because I'd rather it be, you know, on the inside, not the outside. Um, but, <laughs> by the power of Structures Plus, let's just make it all float. Oh, good lord, this is awful. You know, I felt so prepared as well, like, oh yeah, I got everything I need. So, just for the record, Spino- <gasps> Just for the record, Spinos can actually just run over, um, like, th up to four high, I think. They can they can really run over tall structures. So by doing this, it just prevents it from running over the gates by them, you know, just casually floating, as one does. And because I'm really not feeling good about this, I'm just going to put a couple of these down quickly, just in case. Okay, look, it's not pretty, but it's effective. It's resourceful. You can't deny me that much. Although the Spino is utterly passive and that does really concern me. I do actually have low HP as well, so perhaps this isn't worth gambling. Mm. Are you okay there, friends? You got yeah, you still got high health. Okay, well. Uh you can't fit through that. Let me just uh let me just go up here. I feel better up here. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna try the trank arrows before I use the trank darts. <laughs> Bad. Okay. As long as I'm max height, we're fine. So it it works, okay? It works. This is such a scuffed day. <laughs> okay. At least we get the Spino. 
So the saddest thing is, right, the saddest thing is, is that I'm not really going to use a spider for anything because I always use uh, like Rexes, Therizinos, and Gigas, and Megalosaurs for my things. But it's a 150 Spino. If any of you remember from my first ever Let's Play series on the island, um, it took me, it took me months and months to find a high level Spino. Not a max, a high level. So finding this one really, really early in the Pteranodon, I was gobsmacked and I couldn't just let it go. I can't let it go now. Although I'm having major questions about whether or not I deserve this. Man, the Quetzal's despawned. The 150 and the 145, they're both despawned. I'm gonna take this one. Yeah, That's not good. But it's fleeing now. Alright. Let's go ahead and check its uh, tour port. Ooh, I'm so glad I got this gun. This long leg rifle is such a blessing. Hey there, friend. I'm gonna call you cut. Oh, your, your tour port's already dropping. I'm gonna call you Cuddles. The name I give all of my Spinos, because look at it, guys. Isn't it? Isn't she just so big and cuddly? With her lovely glowing red eyes and her wonderful knocking outness. Right, I'm still not feeling too good about this. Uh, Spinos, surprisingly, do actually have quite a few enemies. At least I, I think they do. It's been a while since I've tamed one. I'm pretty sure they do have, like, na- Hello? Okay, that's new. I'm pretty sure they do have natural predators. So um, let me just go, or at least, you know, like adversaries, if you will. So let's go ahead then. I, hey, you having fun there? What lovely you. Level 55, all right then. Yeah, you just, you just come on by. Just land on the sleeping spino, show your dominance. Fair enough. Okay, so I should be a little bit more, you know, secure. It's uh, not my preferred method, not by a long shot, but uh, you know, can't, can't fight success. This, this will be successful, I, I swear it. Um, let me just quickly get to- oh god, I just noticed this gap. Imagine I've got a cat prod here. <laughs> quickly get all of that. A Sarka or a cat prod could easily yeet in underneath that. There we go. God, this is so <laughs> scuffed. Okay, let's get the kibble. Let's get the mutton. Let's get the meat. Uh, as a reminder, so even though a tame will always prefer their best and most favoured type of food, when it's tamed, it will prefer its least preferred food. So right now it's a wild creature, it's going to go for the kibble immediately. Whereas when it tames up, and if I were to be AFK, instead of it eating extra kibble, it will go for the prime instead. So it's a nice way of securing as much kibble as possible if you can't guarantee being there for the tame to finish. So currently I have about 12 minutes before the Spinosaurus wakes up. And over here we have a 145, oh, legendary Therizino. Oh, that's a bit concerning. Um, how much tour port does the Spino have, actually? The Spino has, uh, doesn't actually say the number. Right, well, that's a bit concerning. And I can't see it either. Okay, I was hoping to quickly nuke out the Therizino while it was in a net gun. But because of the lack of, uh, well, the, the amount of tour port and the fact that I don't have any, uh, you know, any extra gates... I don't think I actually can. Maybe, maybe, maybe I could be a little bit clever with this. Um, give me one second. Okay, so what I'm doing here then, I'm trying to double up the gates a little bit, although it's a little bit tricky, uh, kind of like this. And I'm just hoping, really, really hoping that the Therizino can't walk out either of the sides. So this will be my best shot. And this will also allow me to get it safely without all of the Carnos and Raptors on me. Oh, this thing's gonna hit hard though. 112 damage a hit. And come to think of it, how am I going to escape? Oh, from the air. All right. I was thinking it was Behemoth where I had the uh, bits capped off. Well, actually, no. <laughs> I thought it was a bloody RG trap for a second then. Right then. You are in. Let's donk that down. Let's test. I'm not going to consider myself successful just yet. Can you run out? Ooh, it does not look like it can. I think we got it. It's a bit, it's another ghetto trap. I like the Spino, which we have 10 minutes on, by the way. Um, oh, speaking of Spinos, you are a 15. Yes, it's ghetto, but it worked. It worked. Now, uh, there's, like I said, a lot of like scary things nearby. So what I'm actually going to do then is I'm going to protect myself. Because where is not an RG trap, I don't have the caps on top. It's completely open from the top, which means that I can't just sit up. Oh, like I can't just sit up there and safely shoot it. I'm going to do it like this. 
<laughs> I know this is like a really unoptimized and ghetto, but hey, I hope you can appreciate my resourcefulness and my- Oh! My attempts! Hello! You are very, very mad, but you are a Therazino. I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need so many of you. And again, high level one. I had a hard time finding these in my first ever Let's Play as well. So I'm really happy to find one now. Uh, thankfully, that confirms it cannot fit through that gap. Ooh, but that... <gasps> Jeez! You kind of forget just how big of a range these things actually have. Oh, God. I've got nine minutes on the Spino. I really don't want the Spino to wake up. I'm going to have to make sure it's knocked up before I, you know, take this down. Or uh, before... You, you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, God, look at it. No, it actually can reach me. Thankfully, it's not going to because the Torpor is, you know, so high it's not attacking anymore. But no, that this thing could just swing at me. There we go. Right, so, there is he knows, of course, I have a much faster Torpor drain. I have eight, or less than eight minutes, in fact. Right. And of course, as I said, all the Carnos, there's a Carno right over there, but we should be fine to pr quickly progress this. I want to make sure this thing is protected. Lag? No. Repair. Yes, of course, because I actually can damage stone. Well, the Carno is slowly coming towards me. I hear it. But I gotta finish this first. There we go. Excellent. Probably a little bit tight, but it's okay because the Carno is right there, as you can see, on the Stego. 145! I'm glad I was taking this as seriously as I am. Right, there's a little port is very, very fast, so is Spinosaurus tour port. So I'm gonna have to um really keep take so I'm gonna have to really keep a close eye on both of these. I've got two big boys. Six minutes in, and honestly, I'm not feeling very secure about the spiked walls here because there's a spino, another one, all the way over there. Now, even though this technically won't actually fend off against it much, I just still just feel better if I just, you know, add a couple more gateways, like maybe like one here. <laughs> a couple of more of like these uh, high density ones. Not really the word I wanted, but it works. You know what I mean? Let's just quickly do a whole bit of this then. Another one over here. There we go. Then we can finish off with the spiked walls. And then I'd have to really carefully babysit both of these. One there, one there. Let my lesson to the terror birds. I do not want to have any large gaps. And that is looking much better, much more secure. My birds on the other side. Bugger. Right then, we're at the Spino. Let me grab my narcotics. We'll go ahead and give you... So it requires about 110. I'm going to give it 125. Just to take into account any lag. You never know when I get a server lag. And if I were to keep it uh, de-rendered, I probably could feed it now. In fact, the Therizin is a bit of a bigger concern. I think I actually will de-render this one. Let's go ahead then and give it the six kibble it requires. Bit of mutton. Bit of prime, bit of cooked food. It's really overkill, but it's just in case. It's already got 12.5%, 24.9%. It is on its way, 37.4%. But it's got a long way to go. You know, it just occurred to me that this Arizino, it being a 145 legendary, if I were to kill it, I'd get awesome rewards. But I'd really much rather tame it. But it's kind of sad to know, actually, that I did just lose out on, like, potentially amazing rewards. Oh well, that is the joy of this mod. Hey, so while we're here, there is this really dumb looking turtle. It's a black and red turtle. I want it. I do actually like unironically need to get a breeding line of turtles uh, for like really high health. So I'm just gonna go ahead and scrap that while I can. <laughs> Why not? Right, we've got two and a half minutes on the Therizina. Let's get this knocked out as well then, or knocked up, or... <laughs> well, you know which one I mean. <laughs> Let's go ahead then and give it like, well, like another 114. That should be enough to keep it down fully as well. Now, I didn't bring any crops, so for this one's gonna have to be just pure kibble. So 10 kibble is all it needs, and this one I should be safe to AFK as well. And hey, while we're here, uh, with the big scary Therizina right there, may as well feed the turtle as well. Ah, oh, mate, gonna love that feeling when you got a couple of teams running, you go AFK for some toast and a cup of tea. Really good toast, by the way. Really hit the spot, and you come back, and both the teams are completed. So in the end, the Therizino rolled abysmally. Oh my god. We got another heavy breather <laughs> with, with uh, high speed. Oh god. Well, it's a high level Therizino, like I mentioned before. They can be really quite tough to find. So let's go ahead then and pack you away. 
A tame to tame nonetheless is an imprint. Well, if I get like a, the other half, it's an imprint. And next up, the Spinosaurus, which thankfully tamed up perfectly fine in the end. I was not confident about this setup at all. It tamed up, um, quite average. I'm okay with that, honestly. Now, like I said, I probably won't really be using the Spino much anyway, but it's fine though. I have one, I'm happy about that. And thankfully did not waste any kibble getting it. Right, let us see then what else we can find. Really? Oh, for God's sake, another creature despawned. I had a really high level Tapajara here. Oh my God. Well, meanwhile, that is certainly a strong creature. I could probably yield me some loot. Uh, let's give it a go. <laughs> that was not worth it. Joy, I got irrigation pipes. Thanks, game. Ooh, wow. 140 male diet bed. Too bad it's male though, because I've already got a male. Your melee is 26, your melee is 19, so yeah, that's not worth it. Is that a sheep? Oh, it's a sheep! Oh, wow, okay. I, could I make, I might even be able to make uh, veggie cakes. Actually, I don't think I can. I don't think I've got the other vegetables for it. But I'm going to pick that up regardless. Hello there, friends. Level 45. Okay, I've looked it up and I definitely cannot make a veggie cake, which is such a shame that it's my third sheep so far on the server, which is really, really nice. Uh, especially with all the chaos going on all the time. But I cannot have it for myself, so let's go ahead then and harvest up and get the extra mutton. No, not with a dillo next to it. Bugger off, it's my, my sheep. So if anyone wondered, uh, yes, the 125 giga is still here and the Rex friend is just spinning in circles, apparently. So a 125 giga... Theoretically, I actually can tame it now. I do have the resources to do so, but honestly, I actually just kind of don't want to. Which is really unusual. Normally, I go for gigas very, very quickly, but I feel like I'm kind of spreading my resources thin, and I'd just rather use my resources on other tames instead. Plus, by the time we get to extinction, it's going to be gigas everywhere. God, I'm going to regret saying that later. Just you watch. <gasps> Quetzal! Quetzal, 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 level 10. That is so disappointing. Ooh, 130 dodo for good melee stat. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and keep an eye on you then. Let's go ahead and track you, because it's gonna heal up anyway. What about your friend? Ooh, Tech Quetzi. Your friend at level five, Tech Quetzi is level 18. <sighs> is, is that what I want? Do I want a Tech Quetzal? I mean, I mean, I'm really disappointed that the one I wanted to get earlier wasn't there. Do I really want to settle a level 80? I mean, I don't really know what I'd use it for anyway. I can use a Quetzal to tame another Quetzal. Oh, look at you. You're so, you're so obnoxiously colourful. Right, in that case, I'm going to have to go with the far less desirable option, and that is to net it. It's in a really good place right now. I'm going to go ahead and just yellow it. And do this. I landed the hit. And now I've got to very, very quickly trap it before anything comes over and wrecks us. Oh, I left my gateways in the RG! No! Right, I've got about 30 seconds-ish, vaguely. Damn, why did I put my gateways in the RG? Right, let's go ahead then. Grab the behemoths. Grab this one and that one. And my plan is to trap on top of it. So if something to this effect. Thankfully, they've got the caps on top, which means that it can't fly out of it. Theoretically, anyway. Oh, that's the wrong place to put it quickly before it wakes up. And right there. And that should be that should actually be enough to contain it. Now I'm gonna wait until it actually, you know, it. You know what? I don't even have to wait. I look at that. There's no way it can fly out of this. It's really important if you ever want to trap a Quetzal with behemoth gateways, you've got to use stone, not metal, because the metal ones lack these caps at the top. I don't know why I call it caps. It just seems like the fitting word for it. Uh, there we go. It's up now. And, uh, yeah, yeah, there's, there's no way it's getting out of this one, thank goodness. Now then, can I squeeze myself through? I can. That is going to make knocking it out so much easier. Oh, right, well, at least I get a Quetzal today. I'm really salty. Really? Really? You know what? Um, I probably don't even really want to use my darts. My darts, I've got very, very few of them. I think I'd rather use my crossbow for this one. There we go. As I was going to say though, I'm so salty about the 150, 145 Quetzals. Like again, how long did it take me to find those in my first Let's Play series? So, so, so long. At least I got the Spider and Therizina. The Therizina will be very, very important for boss armies in the future. But uh, I'm salty. 
And there we go then, we've got ourselves a downed Quetzal. Right, I've got to make sure I can quickly get myself out. And, oh, that did not land how I wanted it to, but I, oh, I nailed the landing. <laughs> Great, let's go ahead and get the spike balls and make sure that nothing can attack it. In fact, better yet, let's get the gateways first, line them up around the perimeter, and then make sure nothing can attack it, because Quetzals are super vulnerable. Right, I believe that's every part of it sufficiently blocked up. Let's go ahead and land down and just check for any gaps. Man, those terror birds, man, for that die bear in the last episode, that really made me so paranoid. And we could probably take this down as well. And there we have our Quetzal, level 18. Huh, what a specimen. Now, on the plus side, with the low-level Quetzal, it's low enough that it will not benefit from kibble. I'll gain the same levels from raw mutton, so it's going to be a mutton tame. Oh, there we go then, and let's get that knocked out. Uh, sadly, we have no sound because whenever I edit while uh, playing the game, it breaks the sound recently. Really annoying. Uh, I'll have to reboot the game in a moment. But we have ourselves a Tech Quetzal. So, I mean, it's it's not a good one, but we have one. Oh, it's another sheep! What? My goodness! I really gotta get on my veggie cakes, dude! Another one! Okay, so since the sounds are scuffed anyway, I'm going to take this 130 dough deck and take it home. We've tamed everything I wanted to tame that I could tame. I didn't bloody detour on me. And we are now finally ready for a dino wipe because, my god, all the spawns are really screwy right now. I've been needing a dino wipe for a very long time. Uh, say goodbye to the 125 giga. That will be going. But don't worry, I'm sure we'll get more in the future. So I'm going to wrap it up here then since it's eerily silent. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you'll look forward to the next episode. Also activate the Turkey Trial Thanksgiving event. If I haven't missed it already, I don't think I have. So that'll be some nice fun event things in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day and as always, I'll catch you all next time. Cheers.